Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron, and before we start today's topic, let's go ahead and hit that like button for daily uploads. I've been on a daily upload for for what seems like forever now, although it's only probably been a little over a month, but I am holding strong. That's the longest I've done daily uploads before, so you know I'm really into this YouTube right now. So, let's get right into the topic. Hopefully this topic will be pretty good, and it's about scuffs, and whether you should buy them, whether they're considered cheating, and whether it's worth the price you pay. So, let's just hop into, uh, should you buy them? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, you should, you probably should start buying a scuff, and if you don't have enough money for it, you should probably start saving up for a scuff, because... The way that the games are changing now, and I'm going to have a video on this tomorrow, but you're constantly not on the directional pad. Like, you have to hit the A button. You have to hit other buttons. You can't just run and look around. Like, in every other Call of Duty before Advanced Warfare, you honestly did not need to press A until you wanted to get over a barrier. And then you probably didn't really have to, it's just you didn't want to run around the barrier. You just kind of wanted to power straight through it. So, having a scuff and having the ability to not let go of your thumbsticks and actually just tap A to jump is super helpful. And it's even more helpful in games like these where you're going to have EXOs, you're going to have this weird boost system. Um, it's, you pretty much need a scuff at this point. So. I'm going to go ahead and go to, are they considered cheating? And for the longest time, and I still do, I do think they're cheating. I really do think they're cheating. I feel like somehow that Scuff had some kind of connection with MLG saying that we'll give you like 20% of sales if you allow this controller because it's really cheating. It's too much of a benefit not to be cheating because not everyone plays with scuffs. Uh, a majority is starting to play with scuffs because of Advanced Warfare, but it's just, I, I still feel like it's cheating. If everyone had a scuff, that would be totally different, everything would be even, and it would be fair. It would be 100% fair to have them, it would not be cheating, but everyone does not have them. And, I mean, it's really tough. It's tough for games like this, and it's tough for um, Advanced Warfare not to have a scuff and to go up against someone that does have a scuff. Um, that's that's probably my feelings on cheating. So I'm 100% saying that yes, scuffs are cheating, but if everyone else is going to cheat, might as well cheat too, unless you don't want to drag yourself to their level and you feel like you can go up against the scuff and at this point, I don't really feel like I could go up against the scuff, you know? Especially in this game where literally all you have to do is hold down a paddle and you can freely move in air while I'm having to like press and hold A to jump. Like holding A, you are not touching your thumbstick at all. You're just going straight up. There's no way to go up and aim and move around. Like if the person's strafing and you're going up, you're pretty much screwed unless you can let go of A, go back, turn just a little bit, hold A again, but then I don't even think that would work. So yeah, scuffs are cheating, but you need one. And the last one is, due to price, is it worth it? And I'm really considering that sometimes it's not worth it, but sometimes it is. So if you want bare minimum, I mean, feels like a, a regular Xbox 360 control, or it's 360 or one or PS4, they actually have that. You can get the scuff one for the Xbox one. For $99 and that's only $40 more than regular asking price and you have this huge significant gain of performance so if you're gonna do that I say yes but if you're gonna get like these different teams like the scumpy or the optic ones that already out of the gate cost 150 and that's with nothing else included and then you add your scuff grip your blacked out buttons four paddles, all this stuff, and it equals up to like $230. I think that's a little overboard. That's just my opinion. You guys might think it's 100% worth it, but I just, there's my two cents. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video for daily uploads. Come on, guys. Let's see if we can get 
I don't know, 15 likes. That's pretty crazy. I don't know why people don't really like my videos, although I do get enough views to have that many likes, if that makes sense. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I will see you tomorrow with another fresh upload. Peace.